there everyone, we're playing Warframe and today we're going to take a look at the Mastery Rank 11 challenge. So I want to go to the Strata Relay on Earth and here we can do a practice run on the Mastery Rank 11 challenge. So I want to fast travel to Cephalon Samaris. Over on the right hand side here, there's all the uh, challenge booths. Let's find the MR11. Here we go. So in here we can do a practice run. How well do you shoot under pressure? You must traverse the space before the timer runs out. Shooting the targets will buy you extra time. Okay, run and shoot. Seems easy enough. So we get plus five seconds for every ball that we shoot. Oops, overshot. <laughs> Lucky it's a practice run. I don't think I've gone in the wrong direction. Okay, went the wrong way. This is why I do a practice run first before I do the real challenge. Let's try it one more time. How well do you shoot under pressure? You must traverse the space before the timer runs out. Shooting the targets will buy you extra time. Okay, 10 seconds. 20 seconds. Oops. Okay, let's jump the right way this time. And glide across here. Not moving targets. Oops. Don't think I was supposed to jump that way. Get back on this raising platform. So this platform is rising up in the air. No, I don't think we're supposed to get off that rising platform. So stay on this one. So we've got 35 seconds now. Okay, so we shoot up here. Follow the arrows. Shoot the balls along the way. More moving targets. There's the finish line. A formidable performance. This test is now complete. Alright, I think we're now ready to do the real thing. So back in the booth here we can do the uh, the actual qualify. This is the real test. How well do you shoot under pressure? You must traverse the space before the timer runs out. Shooting the targets will be 15 time. seconds. Thirty seconds. the rising platform. Let's just shoot these balls. Oops. Uh, fell off. Let's get back on this rising platform. So 
just stay here and shoot these balls until we rise up. Forty seconds. Five seconds. And to the finish line with forty eight seconds to spare. Excellent. A formidable performance. This test is now complete. Okay, guys, so the next thing to talk about is the, uh, the weapons that get unlocked after we reach Mastery Rank 11. In passing my test you continue to prove yourself and grow stronger. The Mastery Slate has been commissioned to honour your achievement. Very cool. So we're going to take a look at the Overframe website which uh, lists um, Warframe weapon tiers categorised into S tier, A tier and B tier. The primary B tier weapons here which are good picks for Mastery Rank 11, uh, show up as uh, Synapse. So the Synapse is a, a corrosive damage rifle. Uh, it's an infested bio weapon and it shoots uh, a beam, like a corrosive beam. Uh, so it looks pretty interesting. Uh, you can acquire this from the uh, bio lab in the dojo. So I might check that one out. The uh, Basmu is a sentient rifle that fires electric rounds. Uh, and when they hit the target and they explode they create heat damage. This weapon you'd have to trade with players because it came from the Knights of Nabarus event or the uh, Orphix Venom event which is now passed of course. The uh, Prisma Gricata is a Prisma variant of the Gricata rifle. Uh, it's got a very high fire rate and um, high crit chance and multiplier. Um, this weapon does mostly impact damage uh, and you can buy this from Barrow Katir or uh, you can trade it with other players. The Phage. This is an infested shotgun that fires um, seven viral beams in a wide spread, which then focus in. Um, sounds kind of interesting. I might give this one a try. Uh, this one you can get from the, the bio lab in the dojo. Uh, the Bore Prime is um, an impact damage shotgun with a high fire rate. It's got a big magazine size as well and it does high status chance. Um, but this one you have to farm from the Void Relics or trade them with other players and it's currently vaulted unfortunately. The uh, Prisma Grinlock is a Prisma variant of the Grinlock uh, which is a semi-automatic rifle which does which deals mostly slash damage. Um, this weapon has very high base damage uh, which is mostly impact and uh, slash of course. Uh, it's got a high crit chance and a high crit multiplier and high status chance. This one you can get from Barrow Katir or just trade with other players. Lastly we have the Prisma Gorgon which is a Prisma variant of the Gorgon rifle uh, with uh, mostly impact damage. Uh, this is a weapon that spools up over seven shots uh, and this we weapon you can buy from Barrow Katir when it's available. Let's take a look at the uh, secondary weapons for Mastery Rank 11. Uh, these are in the A tier, so the strong picks. Uh, first we have the Catabolist, which is uh, an infested sidearm with a short range corrosive beam. Um, now the expended clips from this weapon throw out like uh, grenades. Uh, it's got a very high fire rate, high crit multiplier and high status chance. This weapon you can get from the bio lab in the dojo. Secondly we have the Zymos, which is a uh, infested pistol. And this also releases uh, explosive spores. It does primarily puncture damage and uh, it also has high impact damage. This weapon you can get as a reward from the Entranti rank 1 reward in Deimos. Uh, and Father also sells the blueprints for this one. Third one we have is Prisma Twin Gremlins. A Prisma variant. Uh, it's an automatic pistol. Which has uh, puncture and slash damage and high crit chance and high status chance. Uh, again you can get this one from Barrow Katia or trade it with other players. 
Let's take a look at the secondary weapons B tier. So these are the good picks. Uh, we have the dual toxicist, which is a pair of infested sidearms, uh, dealing puncture damage, high status chance, and uh, good ammo efficiency. Uh, this one comes from the bio lab in the dojo. Now we can take a look at the MLA weapons, the S tier, special weapons, best of the best. Uh, we have Nami Skylar Prime, which is uh, dual swords with uh, mostly slash damage. This one has high base damage, high crit chance and high status chance. Um, this one comes from Void Relics, or you can trade it with other players because it's currently vaulted. Uh, in the melee weapons A tier, we have the uh, Skia Jati, which is Excalibur Umbra's sword, uh, which is a Nakana, and it has high slash damage, high critical chance and high status chance, and high attack speed. This one of course is acquired from doing the Sacrifice story mission. Uh, we have the Telos Boltus, which is a Hexus Syndicate version of the Boltus, uh, which does mainly puncture damage. It's got a high status chance. Uh, and you can get this weapon from the Arbiters of Hexus Syndicate. You need to be uh, Maxim rank 5, or you can trade this with other players. Thirdly we have uh, Jat Kuzar, which is a blade and whip weapon. Uh, with rocket boosters attached to it. It deals mostly heat damage and has high impact damage. This one you can get from the chem lab in the dojo. Lastly we'll look at the B tier melee weapons, uh, the good picks. Uh, so we have the Machete Wraith, which is a Wraith variant with slash damage. Uh, we can get this from Barrow Katir or other players of course. High crit chance, high crit multiplier and high status chance. We have the Pulmonars, which is a, an infested nunchucker weapon, dealing mostly viral damage uh, and impact damage. High crit chance, high multiplier, high status chance. This one you can purchase from the market. Uh, the Aram Spinoza is an infested warfan, which uh, shoots toxic projectiles on a heavy attack. It deals mostly slash damage. Uh, this one you can get from Deimos from Tier 2 Isolation Vault Bounties. Uh, so the components are a reward. We have the Sinoid Heliocor, which is a pseudo syndicate variant of the Heliocor. Dealing mostly impact damage. Uh, it's, this one's got high base damage. And you can buy this from Cephalon Pseudo. It requires Genius Rank 5. Or you can just trade it with other players. The Vacor Sidon is a Steel Meridian Syndicate variant of the Sidon. Uh, primarily puncture damage, high crit chance, high crit multiplier, high status chance, fast attack speed. You can buy this from the Steel Meridian, of course, and uh, you need to be General Rank 5, or you can trade it with other players. So that's the wrap up of all the weapons that are available at Mastery Rank 11. I might go through and actually try a few of these weapons out and see how they go, so I'll do some future videos on that. So thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.